This is an example of the McCullough illusion. Now, the McCullough illusion or McCullough effect is related to after effect color illusions. But the McCullough effect is somewhat different in a rather subtle way. And one of the subtleties is that unlike after images, which take a few seconds, the color illusion actually takes a fair amount of time. So I'm sorry, you're just going to have to bear with this video being about five minutes long. And even then, you might actually have to view it a couple times just to see the effect. So that's the way things go. Well, since you have to watch this for five minutes, uh, I'm going to see if I can explain to you what's going on with after images and with the McCullough effect. So that way you at least understand why it is you're seeing what it is that you're trying to see. So let's start with an after image effect. Now, after image effects are something where you would stare very intently at a pattern for a long period of time. So if you stare very intently at this pattern, you'll see green and black lines. And if you sort of look away for a moment at a, say, white background, like uh, a white wall, uh, what you'll see is an after image, and the after image will be white lines where they were black and red lines where they were green. And so, for example, this thing you would see white and green lines as the after image. Now, the McCall effect is slightly different than the after image effect because you're going to have to stare at this pattern for a long period of time. You also notice the pattern's changing. And with the after image effect, what you're seeing are complementary colors. And the McCullough effect, you're also going to see complementary colors. Now, complementary color comes about because white light is made up of a mixture of all different colors of light. So white light has red and green, yellow and blue, and all kinds of different colors. Well, what happens if you stare persistently at a red image like this one is your brain says, hmm, there's something wrong. I shouldn't see a persistently red image. And it starts to subtract red out. So when you remove red from a white background, what you see is green. And the reason your brain does this is because there actually is a lot of stuff uh, in floating around in front of your eye uh, in front of all the rods and cones that actually receive visual information. So, for example, there are blood vessels that crisscross uh, your eye right in front of the uh, rods and cones. And so some of the rods and cones are actually looking not only at the world that uh, we all see around us, but they're also looking at patterns of blood vessels. Well, the patterns of blood vessels are persistent. They don't change all that much, and you don't really want to see them. So when your brain sees that there's a persistent pattern, it starts to remove it. Now, when I'm saying your brain actually should be a little bit more accurate here, what's really going on is that there are neurons inside your eye that do some simple visual processing. And you can argue, are these neurons part of your brain or not? Um, some people say, well, it's part of your neural system, so it is. Some people say it's part of your eye, so it isn't, but I, that's rather, neither here nor there. It's part of the visual processing that goes on inside your body. And what these neurons do is they start to subtract out persistent colors. So if you're seeing a persistent color, a persistent bright and dark pattern, your brain starts to remove it, or the neurons in your eye start to remove it. Now, they do this very quickly, so they'll start to respond to this within a matter of seconds. However, the effect is very, uh, very fleeting. So if you look at this pattern here where you see red lines and you look at the wall, you'll see an after image, but the after image only lasts for a few seconds. The McCullough effect, by comparison, is go going to persist for uh, quite a few minutes. Uh, some people persist for hours and some people it actually will persist for a few days. So if you've been watching this effect here and you're someone who's very susceptible to this effect, well, you may be seeing this for the next few days. Fortunately, uh, the effect is fairly subtle, so it's not like I've permanently damaged your visual system or anything like that. It's just that you're going to see this slight after effect for uh, a little while. So what's going on with the McCullough effect? Well, here we're actually associating two different things. Here we're associating red with vertical lines. So whenever we see vertical lines, we're seeing a red image. When we see lines like this, they're sort of diagonally sloped upwards, we're seeing a sort of a cyan, bluish cyan image. 
Um, when we see horizontal lines, we're seeing green. And then when we see vertically downwards, uh, sort of diagonally downwards uh, slanted lines, we're seeing yellow. And what's happening in your brain, and this actually is in a higher center in your brain, this is not happening in your eye. What's happening in your brain is that there are neural pathways that convey information like now I'm seeing horizontal lines, now I'm seeing vertical lines, and there's pathways that convey information about color. And we're now correlating two sets of pathways. So we're correlating, for example, the diagonal up and cyan pathway. So whenever there's your diagonal up pathway is excited, so too is the cyan. Likewise, whenever you see horizontal lines, you're always seeing green. And these correlations, your brain starts to notice after a while. And it, it takes your brain longer than your eye, but your brain starts to notice these things and says, uh-oh, I must have a cross neural pathway. Now, one of the things your brain could try to do is it could try to actually find where the error in the pathway had occurred, and it could say, hey, well, I'm, I'm going to fix this. But rather than do that, it just says, okay, well, something's wrong somewhere, so why don't I so start subtracting out these two effects? So whenever it sees horizontal, it's going to say, oh, horizontal and green have gotten mixed up. Well, let me remove green, and it's going to start removing the green and leaving red. So when you see horizontal lines in a moment, which I'll show you, you'll actually see a slight red image. And likewise, since we're now associating vertical lines with red, whenever you see vertical lines, they're now associated with red. So your brain subtracts out the red and you'll actually wind up seeing a slight green image. So let me show that to you. So I'm going to now show you a black and white pattern. And if you don't believe me it's black and white, you can go get a friend who hasn't been watching this thing to actually verify that this is a black and white pattern. Now, it looks black and white, but if you look right near the center, you'll notice that the horizontal lines have a very, very slight reddish tint. And that's because we've now learned to associate horizontal lines with green. And so you remove the green, you see red. And likewise, the vertical lines, there's a slight greenish tint because we've associated vertical with red. And so what we're now looking at is something where you can see a very slight reddish tint to horizontal, very slight greenish tint to the vertical. And if we look at the diagonal lines, again, if you look at the diagonal lines that are sloped downward, there's a very slight bluish tint associated with those. And the diagonal lines are sloped upwards. You see a very slight yellowish tint. And again, these are complementary colors. So this is basically uh, how the system works. And if you didn't see it the first time, you can always go back. You can try viewing this video again, and the more you see these patterns, the more often and more vivid the effect becomes, but it always is going to be a fairly dim effect. It's not going to be something where it's really bright and vivid. So that's the effect. Thanks for watching.